Now I've taken a break, so I hope we can get through these palettes at least. Gumba, du får vänta lite till. So let's start. This is the Naked Basics. And then we have the Naked Basics 2. And then we have the Too Faced Chocolate Chip in the white one. These are so tiny. <laughs> and then we have the chocolate chip, you know, the matte mini one. They smell all the way over here. <laughs> then I have this from Glitter Eyes, and this was called the Rainbow Unicorn. Oh, they are pressed glitters, and that one is especially dangerous. Yeah. Then I have this from Baby Bat, and it's called... Cemetery morning, morning, looks like that. I'm really excited for that color and that color. Like that, and now we have two of these from Kat Von D's, Shade and Light, and this is the rust one. Ow, open, I have so much pain. Looks like that, all mattes. And then we have the Sage one. I don't know if it's pronounced like that. I'm telling you. So it's the neutral one with the green. <laughs> then we have this from Dose of Colors. I love Sarah, Sarah E. Sarah E. I don't know. This is so pretty. This is so cool. I've not used that one, but I've used that one. It's so pretty. Yeah, and then we have these four from Colored Rain, and it's the Beauty Rust. These are so cool, and I want to use them a lot soon. Very cute. If I say something that doesn't make sense, just remember that I feel a little bit dizzy, so I don't know what I'm saying all the time. This is the Smoke Show. And the last one is Lovelies. They are all really pretty. Really pretty packaging as well. No, move it. Move it, move it. That. Move it. And then we have a lot from the balm. See if I can raise you up a bit. So we have the original meat mat, it looks like that. And then we have one from H&M, the holographic eyeshadow palette. It looks like that. Oh, it's dusty over here. Then we have some from Saucebox, and this is the Art Nouveau. And these are really good shadows, I can tell you. And we have the Temptation one. This is also really pretty. That shade is so cool. So cool. Oh. I confuse sauce box with Super Beauty sometimes. So you know. And then we have the Forbidden Fruits. I want the creme de la creme one, but that's not available anymore, but yeah. And they have some new ones out now, but you know, this one is actually really, really pretty. That is a cool color. And then we have one from uh, Beauty Bakery, the Neapolitan Ice Cream. It's so crooked. Nothing special. I just like that color and that color. And then we have the Balm Appetit that everyone seems to hate from the Balm. But I can just tell you that that shade, even though it's got hard pan right there, is amazing. But people say the mattes are not that good, but I haven't tried them. I've only used the shimmers. Then we have Meat Matchmaker. It looks like that. And then we have four. So I just love their packaging and names and puns and yeah. 
this is that one foiled again and then we have meat matte nude that color is amazing as a transition color these are really good matte colors and then we have mat meat matrimony it looks like that and then the one with all the controversy <laughs> meat matador but the colors are pur purple no the colors are pretty <laughs> that and then we do like that then we have three palettes from Tarte this is the Tartlet this came broken so I tried to repress that a few times but it's a matte it's so hard to repress and I have not used this <laughs> this is a Tartlet in bloom I have not used that either I just bought them because you know all people are talking about them and then I haven't got the time to use them and then, oh, they smell nice. <laughs> and the tartlet toasted. That one I wanted because it's really pretty. Oh, they smell like vanilla. Oh, God. It smells so nice. And then we have three from uh, a holiday collection. Oh, it's so dusty. I should clean here. Uh, from Too Faced that came in a box. And this is the peppermint mocha. And they all sm supposed to smell like that. Like the scent here. The peppermint mocha, the eggnog latte, and the gingerbread cookie. Pretty. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> and then we have from uh, Suva Beauty, their block party one. Really nice as well. Then we have from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. So we have their new Sinful Eyes that I really want to use. Oh, so pretty. And their Flaming Love. I love these palettes. Oh, they're so pretty. And Vintage. Meadow. Got a little hard pan, but yeah, that color is so unique. It's like a gold green blue. <laughs> and then the smoked out. Looks like that. These are so good. You can see that it's not so big. The new one, it looked a lot bigger. <laughs> no, it was supposed to be on that. By the way, these are from Ikea and I just cut out some of the things in the middle, <laughs> so you know. This is the Too Faced Pretty Rebel. I didn't buy this when it came out, I bought it later, so it's not that old, but yeah. There are really nice shades in this one. Then we have some from Sugar Pill. <laughs> this amazing packaging, this is the Sparkle Baby. And the cold chemistry and this one I bought from uh, someone who sold it I'm not going to use it but I wanted it because you know it's Edward Scissorhands and Tim Burton is one of my favorite directors so I just wanted it for collecting purposes yep yep and then we have the Kat Von D and Divine yes I have not used this I also got this around the same time that all the controversy started. So, and then we have Too Faced Glitter Bomb. And this annoys me. You know, put in enough glitter to cover all the letters. These are a lot better than people think. They are creamy and nice. Actually, hello. And then I have not used this either. It's the Love one in Too Faced. Bought this like a year ago. I've not used it. And then one of my favorites that you have seen in some videos, the Too Faced and Sephora one. And now the plastic sheet is where it's supposed to be. <laughs> like that. Then we have my um, 
Anastasia Beverly Hills one. So I have the Modern Renaissance. It's not one of my holy grails. <laughs> and then we have the subculture one. I want to use more. And then I have the prism one. I have not used this, I think. No. And I have not used the Nor or maybe I have used the Norvina ones. That color, the wild child, it's it's wild in people. I like it. Like that. We are moving along. We have two from Cargo Cosmetics. This is the Let's Meet in Paris. It looks like that. They are basically falling out, but yeah. And this is the Vintage Escape. Looks like that. And then we have two from BH Cosmetics. It's their special occasion. Looks like that. And day and night. You see the concept, right? Then we have uh, from Certify. This is my second Tropical Wonders one. I have not put my finger used this one, obviously, because I have another one. <laughs> then we have the Dynasty palette. I have not used this either. One, two, and this is the Destiny palette, and I've ordered the new one as well. The Affinity palette. Then the Hated Too Faced, The Power of Makeup with Nikki Tutorials. And I have two from Sueva. I have the Matte Spectrum one. I really like this one. And the nude spectrum. I don't know why I have this. Like that. And then we have these. This is the sauce box and sauce box and battle lash. You know, Samantha. What, what are she called? Samantha Ravendall. I don't know her name, but yeah. That she did with them. Pretty. And then we have the Etude, I think it's called. Okay, good one. Then we have Suva Beauty Cupcakes and Monsters. I've talked about this in a video as well. I just die when I open this, it's so pretty. And then we have the Neutral Necessity. A pretty neutral palette. <laughs> and the Trick. Trick or treat one. Yes. Oh, ow. Like that. Let's move this. Come on. Let's take this. We have the three Venus one from Lime Crime. The Venus one. Nay, go mal. Venus 2, it's my favorite, it's such cool colors, and you know I love mustards. And the Venus 3, haven't used that yet. Yeah, there you go, Valile. And two from Suva Beauty, it's the Keepers of Magic. And the Hustle. And we have Makeup Geek and the Many MUA. It's so heavy, this, this one. But yeah, the famous shade. Then we have Sigma Cream de Couture. Couture, I don't know. Pastels. I love pastels. And we have Pure My Little Pony, the movie. And we have some from Stila. 
This is the, all these are called eyes are the window and this is the body one. And you know, this is the ones I talked about that was, that I had dupes for in the other drawer. This is the mind one. And I think two of these have the famous kitten shade. This is the soul one. Yeah, that is kitten. And then it changed the layout like this. Disappointed. This is the spirit one. And this also has kitten over there. Does all of these have this, that shade? No. Oh, no. And then we have one from Sigma. Nightlife by Camilla Coelho maybe. Have not used. Oh God, I hate that I don't feel well while doing this. Yeah. Then we have two, uh, three from Too Faced from last year's holiday collection, and it's I believe in pink. That's a pretty shade. Natural beauty and super fun night. Then we have my other palette from Violet was the Rainbow palette. I really like this one. That's the Flamingo shade. I wonder if that is in the Flamingo palette. And we have Dose of Colors Ice Cream palette. Also really pretty. And then we have some uh, cheap one from Body Collection. That looks like, you know, the Balms palette. have Tarte Graveyard Girl the Swamp Queen palette and we have a lot from the bottom. We have the Rockstar palette, the Balm Yovi. It looks like this. And then we have the Balm Voyage. This must be volume two, yeah, volume two. I love their packaging, it's so fun. And then we have Bonsai, but instead of cream, they have, you know, for the eyebrows in here, I think. Then we have the Venus XL. Really pretty. Oh God, I really have to sit down, right? And this is the Bon Voyage, the original one. Then we have, like I said, a lot of the Balms palette. We have the Nude Dude. The Nude Dude. The Nude Beach. That's really pretty. In the balm of your hand. And you know it's one with all, all of the favorite ones from different palettes. And in the bottom of your hand, volume two. And then we have Jouer Skinny Dip. This is really nice foil shadows. I'm sorry, like I said, I know I said say this a lot that I speed up, but it's because I don't feel well at all. But I just want to have this film. So let's take the last row. And this, oops, the Kat Von D shade and light. The original one, uh, the Chrysalis one, the first one I bought from Kat Von D. And we have the Monarch one, oops, and the Inner Stella one. And then we have from Lorac the Unzipped. The Unzipped Gold, the Lorac Pro, the Lorac Pro 2, 
and La Belle So Lush. Like that. And then we have three from MAC. It's the classic cutie. Rockin' Rebel. And the Queen Supreme. I haven't used these yet. And the last ones up here are the ones from Ace Beauté. Beauté. And it's, you know, Slice of Paradise. The colorful one. Paradise Fallen. Blossom Passion. And the classical paradise. Like that. I think I say it like every time I put uh, start the camera that I apologize, but I can't explain it, and I don't want to explain it in this video either. But if I stand up in a certain way, I get so nauseous and. Um, dizzy that I almost faint so now I have to sit down and I'm sorry if it's a bad angle but I thought I don't have much left and I just want to be done <laughs> so I thought that I could take these palettes while sitting down as much as I can and these are the ones that I often take with me when I go and do makeup on others because these are the contour ones so it's just like we start this is Pro Strong Cream Palette, and these are all creams, I think, first. These are getting old, I have to, you know, I clean them, of course, but there is only so much cleaning you can do, and that was from Freedom. This is the Ultra Cream Contour one. Oh, that was messy. From Revolution. I used that a bit to try to clean them up when I've used them. And then we have the Ultra Pro HD Cream Contour in Fair. Try to use these as well. And then we have the Technic one. Ah, open. Oh God. I don't, I don't know why I bought this. I will never use it. Then I went from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's their fair one. I don't like it. I don't like cream contour that much. Actually. <laughs> and then I have another one from Anastasia in medium. But yeah. Sorry if you can't see anything. That was the cream ones, I think. Then we have from BH Cosmetics, Cosmetics Forever Nude. It looks like that. It's funny how you can feel so much better when sitting down. It's so weird. And this is the medium deep. Oh, I'm trying not to shake the camera. It looks like that. And then we have highlight and contour. Okay. Like yeah, I think a little good one. Just looks like that, you know, a normal contour kit. They all look the same. Pro Stroke. This is the one with the powders. You saw the cream before. And now we have Lights and Contour Pro. It's a contour palette. <laughs> this one a lot of people like. It's the Ultra Contour one. Uh, I use that a lot as well. It's really good, but I just have others that I prefer. That highlighter is really good. And now we have the Ultra Contour Dark. It's same highlighter. Nej, gumball, snälla. Jag vill filma klart. Then we have one from Katie Price from Revolution. Looks like that. They are actually weird because they have this as well and it's for men, they call it on the website that it's for men. Why do they have to have a special 
uh, one. Is it because of the design? I don't know. But I thought it was a pretty highlight. <laughs> and then we have the NYX one. That everyone likes. I have not used it. And then we have this one. Ah, open. This I use a lot when I'm away. It's a very good bronzer and you know white powder to use for a lot of things. Then we have one from Passion, you know, one of these cheaper brands. I don't know why I keep buying these. Interesting. And we have another one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's their light to medium one. And then I guess we have another one from Technic. Because I usually have them in both powders and creams. And then we have one from Revolution in Fair. These are really big pants. Pants. Not pants. And then we have the dark one as well that I take with me. Is that all in this drawer? Yay. Then I know I don't have a lot in this drawer, so I'm going to take this while sitting down as well. I don't like lip palettes that much. I only use them, you know, on other people. But this one I just had to have because it looks so cool. <laughs> Oops, like that. like that. And we have two small ones from Sleek. It's their Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras, is it called that? And Showgirl. Then I have just three more in here. These are really good actually. They have changed this a bit now, but Pro Artist Lipstick Palette. So we have, you know, the red, the noir and the naked. So this is the red one, obviously. And the noir one with the cool colors. <laughs> and the nudes. Ow. So that's lip palettes. Then we have my eyeshadow palettes from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. Are they called that? Lunatic Cosmetic Lab, yes. I showed these in a video as well. But this is the vamp Vampira one. It's so cool. And it looks like that. And then we have the Elvira, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Ow! It looks like that, so cool. And then we have the Hocus Pocus one. I like this a lot. And then we have the Relic one, where I have pressed an eyeshadow because it came broken. And we have Supernatural, which is like a cooler version. And Zombie Defense, really cool palettes. Let's put them in the container. I have them in this little container. Now I can show you all the palettes I have here. So we will be done with this shelf. I have the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. It looks like that. So pretty. Oh. 
but did he go? Then I have these, and this is the um, model Kokar Lagerfeld, and this is the form nude. Sorry, I'm covering like that. And then we have uh, the smoky burgundy one. I bought this for the packaging. So you know. <laughs> then we have these from Revolution. It's uh, the I Heart Revolution that they teamed up with. Now that's what I call music but makeup. And this is the 80s. Looks like that. And then we have the 90s. And then you, I have heard you call this something special, but I, I don't know what it is, but you can see this is really pretty. Yeah, I think these look really cool. Like that. And then I have like this one, Ooh. this big one from Sephora. It's, you know, like see if I can open it up I think you can scoot out yeah so it looks like this you know this big one yeah it smells like sheep makeup I have one another one from Sephora <laughs> like this I don't buy these anymore but yeah it's the same you know you can let's put that up here you know open this one and then you have this if you want to put them in a palette because they are rows of three shadows and then you can put them in here There are eyeshadows and lip products and so on. Let's put it there. And then I have one from Urban Decay. It's their book of shadows number four, I think. <laughs> you got the... So you can put your iPhone here. And then you got some... Um, oh yeah, I have this upside down for some reason. You have the shadows and then you got a lot of things. And a USB adapter and so on so you can plug in your iPhone I thought that was kind of cool and then I have two from Ed Hardy and they are really okay really big I thought these were going to be smaller but it's like you do like this and when you open up this there is light I'm not going to do it but there are lights so it looks like that and this is the love kills slowly and I also have, you know, the, the geisha one. Oh. And it looks like that. Here is the last of my BH Cosmetic palettes. So, let's see. We have the Wild Child. Let's see if I can point this. And it's their baked ones. That they are famous for. And Wild at Heart. Wild and Free. And then my favorite one. Wild and Alluring. And this one is the one I talked about before. Where you can touch these. And you can actually see the colors. Look. So cool. So cool. This is so pretty. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> and we have 
this marble collection called this one is called cool stone they look kind of like the tart ones but with fun colors <laughs> and this is the warm stone <clears throat> and we have that's heart And we have Missilin collaboration, where you have highlighters as well. And the Baked and Beautiful. Like that. And we have BH and San Francisco, and it's these ones, you know, they look like this, and then you have the face shades here. They're really strong magnets actually. <laughs> and we have the Malibu one. Looks like that. And oh like, like that. And the last one I have is the Hollywood one. That's the fun one. <laughs> and it looks like that. And then we have a collection they did with Bubs Bubs Beauty. And it's called B, and you're supposed to say, you know, be happy, be grateful, and so on. And then they did a lot with um Ashley Tisdale and this is the beach goddess and the night goddess and the one that is only called goddess it's the pretty one <laughs> then we have these this is the forever nude they all have like the same concept you know with creams and face and eyeshadow and Forever Glam and Forever Smoky. I like this packaging. Sorry if I move a lot, but you know, it's because of my dizziness. Bronze Paradise. dual effect these are supposed to you know you can use wet or dry i don't think that is unique in any way but that's how they are selling it <laughs> and then the first chanexo uh you know with the lip palette in one side and the eyeshadow palette on the other side then we have these <laughs> These are supposed to be for different eye colors, but I don't think so. And they are all crooked and yeah, I don't like these. This is the gorgeous green. They all look kind of the same. Yeah, gorgeous green. Bright blue. And beautiful brown. And then we have an old one. It's beauty time. That's also a collab. Looks like that. You should throw these away. And then we have, oh, they were magnetic. Uh, nude rose. Looks like that. And nude rose nightfall. And then the original color Bible palette. that all in here really am i that quick oh god i love myself for that like that then we take these and here are my i don't know how am i going to show this what well, we just have to try <laughs> and my morphe palette so this is the jacqueline hill one this is really hard to show i can tell you right away this is the 35B. I'm trying my best to show you these, okay? 
like I've said a hundred times before, just tell me if there is something you want to see more. Uh, this is the 35U. I have them in an order that I understand, you know, the bright uh, matte shimmers and all together. And then uh, I have, you know, the 35O, the matte shimmer and so on. So they are a logical order. <laughs> this is the U one. And then the C one. They also have names, but you know, that's not important. <laughs> I want the new James Charles one. Ow! But it's always out of stock every time they release it. And then we have the S, 35S. Looks like that. Ow! Clem the May. really hurt this is the 35d one of my favorites i hope you can see i'm doing my best you have to keep this really far away <laughs> then we have the e and the w Now comes the boring ones, the N, I, I, you, you understand that it's the 35N and so on. This is also one of my favorites, I always take this with me when I go and do makeup on others. This is the F, it's so pretty. We have the classic one, the 35O, that everyone was all about. Before I got a hold of this, I bought the OS and the OM, but I still bought the O. That's so stupid. This is the OS. And then we have the O. Oh, and then we have K. And this is P. This is pretty. P as in pretty. No, but if you want to. And R. And T. <laughs> Is that the last one? I think that was the last of the Morphe ones. And then I have this from Eleven that I decided to decorate for some reason. And it's, you know, just one of these palettes. One of my first ones. <laughs> Should throw this away, but you know, I don't want to. <laughs> And then we have another one from BH Cosmetics. This is with the Galaxy Chic. This is also one of my first ones. It looks like that. This is the matte one. <laughs> then we have a lot of these that looks like iPads from different brands of Makeup Revolution. <laughs> Let's take them all out. Oh. So this is the Katie Price one, Travel Palette. Oh. Looks like that. They are actually really good to travel with. So I'm going to show you some of these I use on clients. And this is the red one. This I usually take with me. They are so nice highlighting shades. Oh. Backstage is this called. And we have the studio to go. Neutral. 
I love the pink. And is this the Vice one? Extreme Vice. Like that. They are really good packaging actually, if you are going to travel. And this is the original one, the Black Arts. Here we also have this one, my biggest power. It's the Morphe 39A. I've not used this yet, but it's this one. Like that. And then we have one of these. The ultimate eyeshadow collection. This is the ultimate iconic one. Look at these shades. Like really. Really. Then we have another Tarte palette that you can make yourself. I think it's really pretty. And in this I have a lot of highlighters from different brands of revolution and these two this is from Ofra you do you and you glow girl I think this is pretty <laughs> then we have a big one from Fairy from Fairy is there a rainbow palette rainbow palette this is so expensive I think this was like a hundred and sixty or seventy dollars, I think. Then we have some from Revolution. We have the HD Pro Glow Getter. You know, with these highlighters, they have it in singles as well. And we have the amplified one. This is brighter than my future. And we have get baked. These are excellent to take with you if you are a makeup artist. And then we have the mega matte. This is so big. But you know, it's really good for that purpose. And we have uh, Pro Amplified Strobe and Highlighting. So it's both creams and powders. And then we have some eyeshadow palettes. They did a lot that was supposed to be like, you know, the uh, 35Os. But I bought these that are not. <laughs> And I glued this on the back because it doesn't say it. This is the Defiant. Defiant. And this came broken, but you know, you can use it anyway. And this is the Accelerate. Accelerate. And Naked Golds that I got in a Christmas set. Was those last one over here? This is the Emily Edit, the ones I have a video with this as well. And then I have this big one, Eyes and Contour Palette from Revolution. You know, this one you can also take with you but I have not tried the quality in this one that's I, I don't want to take it with me if I don't know the quality of it of course then we have an old Morphe one this is the first Jaclyn Hill where she just picked out her favorite colors so old And then we have some from BH Cosmetics. This is the foil eyes. And we 
we have the Club Tropicana. Don't I have it foil eyes too? Weird. Yeah, I do. <laughs> they were just in the wrong order. This is the foil eyes too. This is coming out of the pan. I'm tired of these big ones, but I have the ones I have. And this is the neutral eyes. I think I got this when I bought something else. All boring and then they put in that shade. Like what? And we have blushed neutrals. Oh, they smell so cheap, the packaging of these. Don't like it. And then this I always take with me as well. This is the contour and blush. This is so big. But it's so so good. I love this palette. It's really really good. And we have oh another lip palette. Sorry if you see something else when I'm, you know, putting them back, but I can't, you know, I have to do it. <laughs> and we have this one. This is no brand, I think. This is also a lip palette. Oh my God, this is an old lip palette. I should throw this away. But this is not a declutter video. <laughs> and we have one for Viva La Diva. <laughs> Absolute fabulous eyes. It looks like that. And then we have a blush palette that I have decorated myself. These are actually good. But I don't use it anymore because I have other palettes that are better. But I used it before I have a lot of palettes. And the last one is... These I always take with me as well. Because these shadows are really good actually. And it's you know, a private label one. But these are really good. If you know there is one color that I have not... Take it with me in some other palette, then I know it's in here. So that's really good. Now I think I only have my palettes that I have made myself left. <laughs> so we'll see how many I can take before I start getting dizzy again. But we'll take these I have in the back. Uh, it's from Revolution Pro, it's just a face quad. And then I have some eyeshadows from Piggy Sage. But I have them in a Revolution palette. These are not very good quality. And then I have glitters from Makeup Revolution. In this Pegasage one. And I think I have glitters in this one as well. Yes. And what do we have in this one? Oh, these are some of the new Revolution ones. I don't try those. They're supposed to be very good. Then I think I have two empty palettes. One is empty. And one I have some of the shadows that didn't fit. But look at these. They are bent. I don't like it. Then I don't think I have stuff in these, do I? No. No, no, I just have empty palettes from Colourpop. Hi, I'm so sorry if this is weird, but I promised myself that if I got through and filmed every palette I had, I could do these last ones in bed. <laughs> because I could actually move them, because I don't feel good at all. But I know if I don't film it today, then I can't start pu putting it up. You know, I know that there is no need that I have to do things. But I just want to be through with it. 
and it's been very hard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so sorry that you can see my fat legs uh, and my, um, you know, my uh, pillows and so on. And Gumbal is over there. Hello. <laughs> but I owe this to myself. So yeah. And I thought I was going to show this because this is easier to show when I'm sitting down. <laughs> This is a Sephora palette that you do like this. Let me see if I can do it just like that. And we have. So you see, we have on this side, and there are creams and eyeliners and eyeshadows and everything. And then we have them on this side, and then we have. See if I can do this. Oh, and then we have some here as well. So it's one of those enormous big palettes uh, that they always get for Christmas for people. But yeah, so that's what that is. I just think it's fun. And it was really cheap. Uh, like that. And then you can lock it. So that was that. Now I only have my palettes that I have made myself left. You have already seen some, but this is the rest of them. Up. So we have this Body Shop one. This is really comfortable actually to feel. This is one from Body Shop uh, with their four new, one of, four of their new shades that I picked out. Looks like that. Really pigmented shadows. Where should I put it? Yeah. This is my Makeup Geek shadows. I only have four, except the palettes I have. Um, this is a regular one. Um, it's, which is it? Peach Smoothie, of course. <laughs> then this is a foil one. Ooh, and it's Limelight. And then I have two that is duochrome and this voltage, I think it's called, and uh, black light. Yeah, so I keep them in this little pretty one. <laughs> and let's see, are we going to start at the, this? We can see, what do I have in this one? I rearranged them so I don't remember all the, no? I have nothing in this right now that's good but we have this one Let's see if we can focus this is my other Inglot palette I have wait I can't see yeah I have the numbers here as well but not all of them I realize now that's weird uh, but yeah Let's see if I can focus it like that these were all in a collection these five and that's one of you know the ones with three in so here are space for other ones. let's put it down and then we have one from Peggy Sage. this was a pain in the ass to put in I can tell you but yeah it's just eyeshadows from Peggy Sage. Please, do you know how much I have worked to get this to fit perfectly? <laughs> oh, please work with me. And I have this one from Freedom. And I think, yeah, uh, this is a blush from Rituals. And these are two shades from Makeup Revolution. And these also that I have repressed. And these are shadows I have made myself from Loose Pigments. So that one and that one are from Inglot. And then a lot of these are from Sleek. I don't think I have from MAC in here. No, I don't think so. But that was too much. Yeah. Look at this. Can you focus? Oh no. I will have glitter everywhere now. But yeah. So I tried to just repress them. I thought that was fun. I try to write what they are in the back, but yeah. Uh, like that. 
Then we have my other one from Body Shop that I chose to fund the only fun colors that were available at that time. Not that fun, but still. They are really pretty. And these are, like I said, so you can click them out and place them with, like, for example, the ones that um, are in the Christmas ones. And then we have, this was also a pain in the ass. It's also from Peggy Sarge. Uh, this is a cream. Why did I put in a cream in here? But yeah. And then there are two baked ones. And a, a bronzer. It was so hard to put in. Yeah. And then we have, we can start here now. Uh, this is so satisfying. This is from Makeup Revolution. They fit perfectly. They don't look pretty because, you know, I fail when I put them out. <laughs> and I had to repress some of them. But, you know, still, they, they just they just fit perfectly. I can look at this all day. <laughs> Let's put it over here for now. And then we have this one that I have. My only things from Divina. These three. And then I have one of the original rainbow ones. And we have from Makeup Store. And this is from Body Shop. These are some I have pressed back from uh, Love Lux. What is it called? Love Lux Beauty. I think they are called. Oh. Yeah. They are very fragile. And what is this? This is from Bleach Legal Highlights in Blue Lini. So it's a duochrome, I would guess. Yeah. And then we have. Oh, this one is empty right now. And this one. I think these are some I've depotted from HM. Not all of them depot very well, and I have failed, like you can see there. But I think these are from HM. Yes, they are really nice. Like that. And then we have some more from HM. And these are from Peggy Sarge, I think. I think this is from hot makeup and this is my only thing I have from Nabla <laughs> A purple one I think these are H&M yes then I have had all the body shop ones uh, the single eyeshadows and Oh, that was a process. I took all of them <coughs> and depotted them. And the only way to do that is I stood under the kitchen fan and had a lighter and melted the plastic. And I probably inhaled some things that I shouldn't have inhaled. And it started to, you know, uh, there, there were flames and so on. <laughs> I wouldn't do it again, but yeah. I take out all of them and they are in the order like they have numbers on the back so they are in in that order so this is the first one with body shop ones they are really good that's why I want to have them in these because otherwise I won't use them and this is the same yellow shade that was in the other one but this is the a repressed one but it's still good mattes usually don't repress that well but yeah these are really good I love to do a look with that shade and we're it in the other one yeah that orange one <laughs> and then the oh and then the last one with the body shop ones and then we have the old body shop ones as well the small ones they were much easier to take out I can tell you <laughs> I love that shade. That was my favorite. But yeah. Oh, can you hear the drilling? That's my lovely neighbor. <laughs> then we have blushes. 
and these are from Body Shop. These are the matte ones and these are shim ones. They are both new and old ones. I like that one. And these are from Benefit. Uh, that's the one where you can tell which shade it is. It's Coral Coralista. And this one is Dandelion. Yeah, they didn't go so well. <laughs> That's why I usually don't depot things, I can tell you. Like that. I like that. Then we have these bigger ones that are for, you know, domed ones. <laughs> and here we have two more from H&M that didn't go well at all to the pot so I just quit doing it and put them in like this <laughs> yeah but they are so nice so I don't want to throw them and these ones I really like from body shop they don't sell them anymore this one is a favorite I don't know if you can tell but it's not that domed anymore <laughs> I used to do a look with just one that that uh, single this one is from Peggy Sach. I don't want to take it out but yeah and then we have this one with uh, these are also from Peggy Sarge. They are baked bronzers. They're really pretty. Yeah, sorry about that noise. And then we have these that they came out with the first time around uh, when they had makeup obsession. And it belongs to the revolution one. You have to be very careful because it's so easy to, you know, press this and they fall out. But yeah, this is the highlighter palette. Oops, sorry. So here are all the highlighting shades. That one is amazing. I think that's called Moon. Yep, Moon. So it's great that you can see them on the back, but they are, you know so easy to accidentally press press out yes and oh it looks so dirty dirty then we have eyeshadows and this one is the one with the bl uh, blue snow look it's so easy to take out stay this is the grays and the whites and the blacks and some neutral shades and obviously I haven't filled it up and then we have is this the neutral one is the warm neutral palette sorry if I'm blinding it's really hard to show you but yeah that shade is much more pretty and it looks yeah I don't want to blind you and the last one is the more colorful ones. They don't have a lot of those, so it's not filled up at all. Oh god, it's hard to show you this one. But it's really pretty. That green over there is so pretty. But yeah. And then I can put it there. I have small ones as well. Oh, hey. So this one is pre-made, I think. Yes, it's the hottest look February 2017. So I have two cream highlighters. Otherwise, I would have them together with the other ones. And you have four uh, eyeshadows, I think. Are they eyeshadows? Because they have both eyeshadows and blushes and so on in these. So, yeah. And this one is my face palette I put together, you know, if I want to go anywhere. But then I have to be careful because they are so easy to put out. But here you have two blushes. A, this is a contour shade, you know. Okay. And yeah, bronzers and so on. And then this is a cream palette, I think. Yes. So this is actually lipstick colors, but you can use them as blush. And then we have the other two cream highlighters and cream contour. God, they are reflective. Is that all, people? Is that all? Oh my God, now I pressed them out. All of them. Oh. Mm. 
like that. I think that is all. Oh my god! Yay! Okay. Hello. This is the sixth time that I'm trying to film this because every time that I do, my body just starts to. I don't know the words in English, but cramp. I'm getting cramps, you know, so I can't <laughs> talk because it hurts so much. I hope they won't do that right now. And this is a very unflattering angle, but I can't, I just have to live with it. And now I, I have now filmed my palette collection. And when I started doing it, it was a lot of fun. Even though I knew that there were going to be a lot. Um, but I don't think I will ever do it again. Uh, not in this way anyway. Uh, because I before I filmed today I had eight parts and they were all at least an hour long. Uh, so you <laughs> And then I have edited. Uh, maybe I will edit more so they are not that long but... Then you can imagine how long I've been actually been filming for. And I don't know how to explain it in English. Because it's very hard to explain in Swedish. Um, but you will hear a lot in the end, in the last parts. That I complain a lot. And I breathe heavy. And it's because... My body gets very tense, I think you can call it. And that uh, something happens that makes me so dizzy. I, that's the best word I can give you. But it makes me dizzy and I almost faint. Uh, I never fainted, but I have been close. Um... And it's so annoying. So it was really hard for me to record the last parts and all the things I recorded today. And that's why I'm in bed right now. Uh, I'm not saying it so you will feel sorry for me. But that's just an explanation to why I complain a lot. And why there's a lot of... Um, cutting and so on in those parts uh, because well I'm not well <laughs> and yeah so I'm sorry that this is so long um, if you have watched it all I don't know what to say uh, because I know I get bored with myself so I understand if you get bored with my voice as well <laughs> Especially that I have been, you know, sick almost the whole time I have recorded this. Um, but yeah, I think I have gotten all my palettes. If I find some palettes before the last part is being released, maybe I will put it in after this. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, we just have to live with it. Um, but I will probably have forgotten some. Uh, and I hope you have listened to what I have said about different disclaimers and my explanations for things. And have just watched it like, oh, is Gunval going to bark? No. Yeah, but yeah, so you understand why my collection looks like it does. But yeah. So I'm not looking forward to next year doing this again. Mm, then I have to do it in some other way. That's just the way it is. Yes. And this is a very long outro. But I'm just so tired. <laughs> and I'm so glad that it's over. So I can start editing more. And put up this, these videos. That I think will be at least 10 parts. Yes. I think that was all. But a big sorry anyway. And you know if you're watching this. 
I know a lot, a lot of people don't watch when I say these things, but if you have watched it all, then put a unicorn emoji under this video. Then I know. Yeah, that was all for me. Bye. <laughs>